Welcome back guys. Today's video I am doing a, a remap review of my Defender. It's bumpy as hell this thing, I love it. So yeah, I bought this about a year ago and I've had quite a bit of work done to it. You usually have to wrestle it just to drive it anywhere. And uh, one of the most important things I've done was to get it remapped because these things are traditionally farm vehicles. You put cows in them. First of all, I need to get across this uh, bridge. They put width restrictions in and it is just, it's a joke. Yeah, six foot six. That's almost what I, that's almost as tall as me. Oh, and it's on an angle as well. So yeah, I wouldn't dream of bringing the Range Rover through here. This is fine because it's got massive knobbly tires on it. So worst case, if you hit anything, doesn't matter. But yeah, the Range has got 22 inch wheels and they love a curb. So yeah, back to the remap video. This Defender has been remapped by the one and only Empire Tuning. Those guys, as I've said in other videos, are just magicians. They turn Defenders literally into just no longer farm vehicles. That's a very clever place to stop, isn't it? Up here it's. And yeah, before this was remapped, it was extremely just slow, as you'd expect a Defender to be. Yeah, it just had no guts. I mean, yeah, you could tow whatever you want, but I think standard they put out 120 odd horsepower, and once you remap them, it takes it up to around 170, even 180, which in something so high and so kind of wobbly is plenty fast enough, really. One thing I'm considering doing now is getting a roll cage for this because I've recently seen a few photos of Defenders that have rolled over. Not that I drive this to that kind of, you know, level of silliness, but you do not want to be in a Defender when it rolls over. That is one thing for sure. If you search for, yeah, that online, it is scary. So yeah, I don't drive this fast anywhere. Um, but yeah, just generally having a remap improves the overall drivability of the the Defender massively. It's still an absolute tank to drive. My left leg is resembling more and more like Popeye's left leg every day. My right leg still looks like a chicken's leg. It is a very involving drive still, but now it's got some more guts. It's just, it's better and easier to live with. So the benefits of the remap are it just pulls better in every single gear now. That's 50. Yeah, I'm not going to wait till we can get the 60 because it's not that fast. Uh, this is the 2.2 rather than the 2.4. You can tune a 2.4 even higher and a little bit easier. Uh, and you can put like popcorn crackles out the exhaust and all kind of crazy shit really. But 2.2, it's not as kind of tune friendly, but you can still make them go quick enough for a Defender. The real noticeable difference is when you put your foot down in yeah, fifth, that is where you can really feel the difference. It just picks up speed a lot quicker and you can pull away from micras. Honestly, it's like just giving a British Bulldog a big bowl of sugar. It just, it's so sleepy before, but then you just remap it and it comes alive. It's still all over the place and yeah, it has like no idea where it's going. You get to a bump and it tries to, here we go, we have a bump. Put. <laughs> yeah, spit your breakfast up you can't even find your gears but yeah it doesn't matter you're in a defender <gasps> thank you that's nice someone's ordered an ambulance they know I'm looking for hedges now I've had the car remapped first gear is still very kind of long and a lot of people just start off in second and I get it I understand why and I suppose if your car's been remapped it does make it a bit easier to pull away in second but yeah you're not going to set the land speed records in one of these cars that's for sure just makes it a lot more drivable having it remapped and 100% recommend it it's night and day before 
still very clunky. Defenders do that. The gears are just, it's a clunky gearbox, it's a transfer box. This bit of road is very narrow. Some woman actually clipped our wing mirror in our polo years ago on this very bit of road. They come around the corner, pretty much on our side of the road, it clipped the wing mirror. It was such a little clip that it just dislodged the plastic from it. Didn't actually take it off, but they didn't stop, they just cleared off. But yeah, it's a very narrow road this bit, and the defenders aren't the widest of cars, but it doesn't help when a van's coming towards you with their extra wide wing mirrors pretty much on the white line trying to put you in a hedge. One thing that I think you will end up doing in a Defender is rev matching just to make it a smoother drive. That's one thing I've definitely found as you're going back through the gears, slowing down. If you rev match, you treat it like a race car, you know, a manual race car, even though obviously it isn't. But if you just do a little blip, the gears just fall into place a lot easier. And now going up hill, third gear, like a, def a defender shouldn't really it's much much better I think the brakes definitely will be next on the upgrade list if I do start using it more as a daily it's quick enough up to 50 I definitely wouldn't do a 0 to 60 in this I'd do probably a I don't know a 25 to 50 that's plenty for kind of performance testing a defender i think and 25 to 50 i reckon be keeping up with most lamborghinis really that's nice being remapped it's it's not that bad it isn't that bad it's, it just it's a lot more drivable 25 to 50 is where it's at in this and definitely on motorways 60 to 70 i wouldn't recommend trying to overtake cars in this even remapped you can and i have but it's normally just little old ladies in their micros. Oh, the shopping is all over the place. Sainsbury's aren't giving me bags anymore, so the shopping is having a... Oh, I can hear the orange juice going everywhere in the boot. Oh, well. Through the bends. Ooh, you are literally against the window going this way. You need your wife to be able to just lean on the shoulder but it's fine you don't really need a Recaro bucket seat for that if you've got a passenger and you've got your window you're good why spend two grand on Recaros when you just I don't know give your passenger a sandwich and use the shoulder so would I recommend a remap 100% Empire tuning 110% if you enjoyed the video please subscribe hit the thumbs up drop a comment do all the usual and I'll try and get some more videos up soon so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon